If my house is on fire and the fire department is coming down the block uh, to get to my home, it's not saying every other house that they pass on the way is not important, but at that very moment, I'm in need. that one day it may reach as close as my circle because there's really no difference between a Tamir Rice and a young man in my family. Regardless of the color of your skin, our background, or whom we love, we are all humans. I can remember so many times being in the city fully dressed, coming out of a meeting, um, and you know, having 20 cabs go past you only to go halfway down the block and pick up uh, maybe a white couple or a white person um, who was hailing a cab, um, you know, <laughs> like steps away from you. Being sort of um, affronted with that, knowing that even when you're looking your best that you still can't even get a cab. I had a flight attendant who refused to address me. He waited until I fell asleep to clear my tray from in front of me. And it took me a while to catch on to what was happening. I came to the realization that I was the only black person on the flight. So there was a role that I had applied for that one of my coworkers also applied for. And this particular coworker was a white male. Just so happened that I got the role over him. And a few months later, he actually got a promotion. And I approached him and congratulated him and his response back to me was something along the lines of, well, now that I don't have the Latina female in my way, then yeah, I, I got the role. It wasn't about who was the most suited, who was the better fit for the role. It came down to the fact that I was a Hispanic woman and that was the reason I got the role. I remember it so clearly that I was stunned that these kids that I took the bus with every single day could completely disarm me by racist songs and using their hands to simulate my eyes. It brought me to tears and confusion. And later that night, I stared through the bathroom mirror, trying to discover what made me different from my friends. So I go into the store, pick up a few things I was looking for, and I proceed to go to the counter to uh, check out my items, and I received no assistance. At that point, uh, the sales associate began helping uh, the Caucasian woman who walked up after I was already there. I don't move through the world thinking that everything is about racism, but in moments like that, it really, uh, it forces you to acknowledge that there are setbacks inevitably that are going to come your way because of the color of your skin. When we are able to appreciate, respect, and value diversity, we are better and a stronger community. How do I feel about um, Tamir Rice and Sandra Bland and, um, and Trayvon Martin um, and the others, George, George Floyd? It, the, the reality is, like, these are real people. Um, I grew up in Miami, Florida, four houses down from Trayvon Martin. He was uh, a bit younger than me, uh, but he lived next door to uh, my best friend on the street. When these situations happen, I had this immediate feeling that it could have been me because in, specifically in this situation, one of the uh, most renowned ones, like it could have been. Um, you know, there is nothing that separates me from um, Trayvon or from any of these other people. When I think about these situations with law enforcement, um, this recognition that um, other folks may not recognize me for my title, may not recognize me for the work that I do um, at PepsiCo, and, and I am um, just another black man to them. Sometimes you really begin to watch like where you're going, what time you're going, what neighborhoods, because you look at, uh, at any moment, 
uh, my story is no different than theirs. So as you're out, the outward appearance, we look the same. Same characteristics, and at any time that could be uh, someone I love uh, very well being on the next media feed. We stand together as one. And for coworkers who ask, what can I do? The first thing I would say is just know that you're not always going to get it right. And part of learning is making mistakes and allowing yourself grace. Um, keep leaning into the discomfort. This is a, an uncomfortable or can be an uncomfortable conversation for everyone, but it's a necessary one. Just like in business, a company without tolerance for failure cannot be innovative. We need to put brave plans in place to trust that our heart will, with full of purpose, will lead us to the right direction. I have a three-year-old daughter and I would love for her to grow up in a world where people don't see color or culture or background and think that it's a negative thing, but embrace it and love our differences. This is just the beginning. See me. Hear me. I matter. I'm Rich Minaka. I'm Genevieve. My name is Gil. My name is Rachel. I'm Elizabeth. And this, and is, this my, is, my is my story. To all of our associates who continue to share their stories, we hear you. We value you. You matter. Thank you. This is Voices of Our People.